I'm Javed Kaleem. I'm a national and international correspondent for the Los Angeles Times. I'm here in Lisbon, Portugal, which is a city and a country undergoing tremendous change. The foreign population of Lisbon and Portugal is shooting up while the native population has slightly gone down in the last decade. One of these groups that has really started to come in heavy numbers to Portugal is Americans, especially Americans from California. So I'm in town to meet these Americans from LA, from Orange County, from the Valley, and learn why they've decided to relocate here. Hey, it's flying! I moved here from Sebastopol, California, which is in Sonoma County. We were looking for a better life for our son. We wanted to kind of set him, him up in a different way where he wouldn't have any school debt, where he would have access to free health care. And we wanted a place that was similar in temperature and weather to California because we love the weather there. We always knew that Portugal was a really great location in so many different ways. There was a lot of expats moving here and it was actually the easiest place to get a second passport and citizenships. You can eat a really amazing meal here for 10 or 15 euros, so like roughly, let's say 15 US dollars. I save so much money living here, it feels criminal. My apartment in LA, which was a really affordable apartment for the size, I paid $2,500 roughly per month. And I spend less than half of that here, and I have more space. For the average Portuguese person here, you'll make maybe 700 or 1,000 euro a month. Meanwhile, uh, that's the cost of rent for a studio or one bedroom these days. In the last 10 years, a lot of things change in the city. We are talking about gentrification, real estate speculation, um, residential segregation. The value of the houses just doubled. The value of the rents multiplied by six or seven times. It does feel a little bit like California in the way that there's not enough homes for, for the demand. There, there can be some tensions for sure with, for example, Airbnb and its impact on how accessible, affordable places are for locals. But I would say day-to-day -day experience, I feel so welcomed. People are starting to catch on that this is a great place to live. I found a community and curated a community before I even arrived here by joining a bunch of the expat groups on Facebook. I created a group called Californians Moving To and Living In Portugal as a support resource for Californians who want to move to Portugal. So I thought people could benefit from the wisdom of Californians already here. When I first started the group, it was sort of slow to grow. It was just a couple people trickling in. But as this wave of Californians started coming in, it is just like every day I'm getting 20 to 50 requests of people who want to move or who want to join the group. One thing I noticed about Portugal and Lisbon is that there was actually a pretty diverse set of people from California and across the U.S. coming into the country. I met retirees who were retiring in their mid-50s because they could afford to in Lisbon, um, but couldn't afford to back home in L.A. I met uh, people in their 30s and 40s who are well into their careers and decided during the COVID year to do remote work from Portugal and keep on doing it um, permanently. And everyone cited cost as a big reason to go to Portugal. But it's getting so popular, so really your savings are now becoming more in the fact that you get more space.